Hey guys, welcome back. My name is Allie, if you're new, and welcome to Beauty with the Purpose. I upload three videos a week, beauty, Bible, and lifestyle, so if any of those interest you, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button, and let's get into today's video. Okay, so for today's video, I have for you guys my fall recommendations, my fall makeup recommendations. Let me say that. Um, I don't use candles. I don't use wallflowers. I really don't use anything like that. So for me, this is kind of like, um, I really, like the only fall recommendations I do have are maybe like oils or makeup. And so today we're actually going to be talking about all my makeup recommendations. And I didn't do much. I picked three from like the actual categories where like you could tell it's fall. So three for like three high-end eyeshadow pal palettes, three drugstore, three cream blushes, three powder bl blushes. And then I picked out some of my eyeliners and three lip liners and three actual lipsticks. And so like I said, this is just three of everything. I didn't wanna pick out too many things because if I choose to do swatches, that would be a whole lot of makeup to swatch. So with that being said, we are gonna go ahead and just start with, let's see, let's see, let's see. Let's go ahead and start with eyes because that's where we start and we'll start with the drugstore. So my first recommendation is actually this Milani hot, um, hot couple eyeshadow or this eyeshadow duo and this shade is in hot 120 hot couple. Now for me, I feel like you can't get much more fall than this and if you are traveling in the fall for like Thanksgiving or anything like that or you're going to be going to like Halloween uh, like fall festivals because i do not condone halloween i do not condone that god i feel so short okay better <laughs> i do not condone like halloween that that celebration i don't believe in that don't do it but, like let's say you're going to like some holiday parties or something like that and you got to get ready on the go like i feel like this would be a really good thing to like shove in your purse like with one brush or something because you can build you, you can do this really light like you can blow it out or you can um deepen it up and i feel like 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 you i feel like you can make this do what you want it to do is what i'm trying to say and honestly like shades like this and things like this have been my everyday go-to makeup look for fall already i've literally been taking like one shade like this on like in the crease and the outer edge and then something like this just on the lid kind of like today like this is literally like three eyeshadows but mostly two it's three we're just gonna leave it at three and yeah so just something like orangey brownie in the crease and then like something shimmery on the lid that has been my everyday go-to makeup look and this one is really pretty okay the next one i have to uh suggest is this essence coral me maybe eyeshadow palette and i really like this one now it's a little bit more on the cool tone and i do understand that there are people out there who don't like the super duper warm tone so i was like you know what let me grab something that's still fall but leans more cool because i'm someone who's leaning more towards like I used to only like warm tone eyeshadow palettes and before that I used to only like cool tone palettes and now I'm definitely like loving the best of both worlds and so this is really really pretty because like I said you can do every day or you can like deepen it up with that one but I feel like these are fall shades and again it's a cute little compact eyeshadow palette that if you're traveling it doesn't take up a lot of space and Essence actually did like like Essence did the dang thing with this eyeshadow palette like okay so this one is way warm tone but i this is one of the i feel like all these eyeshadow palettes i feel like you don't get more fall than this like that's just my mindset with this is like if you want something bronzy and super fall and like you want people to know that you know that it's fall like these next four eyeshadow palettes are it so um the next one i have is this so oh, i should have checked hold on let me see if this one's still available before i talk about it Ooh, it is still available and this one's actually on sale for 14 dollars like right now whenever you're watching this on ulta so if you go to ulta and buy this right now you can get it for 14 dollars. but bam again you guys i'm coming through with the more cool toned eyeshadow palette for you guys for fall so yes these are beautiful again the bronzes the browns this one actually has like some shimmer in it these very bronzy and gold shimmers you can tell i love this shade it has a little dent in there and i'm pretty sure this is like the only eyeshadow i own that has a little dent in it but yes these are so pretty i love how it has a white white and then it kind of has like something to set the lid with that's not 
too white or like you could mix them and make the perfect cream but this one i love it the the pigmentation is good they last all day but like i feel like i like i don't want to do many reviews because obviously i'm picking all these eyeshadows out because i believe that their lasting power is good their blendability is good their pigmentation is good like i believe in all those things so it's kind of like i don't want to keep saying that for the eyeshadow palettes so just know this is why i'm picking these but yeah i feel like yeah yeah like yeah and again for, I didn't even know this was on sale right now. 14 bucks at Ulta right now. So go get this Zoeva Caramel Melange palette because I promise you won't regret it. For those of you who want fall but want more cool tones, not so dark and deep and warm, this one is perfect for that because even the shimmers are a little bit more muted. Okay, so this one I just got, but I feel like this one is the one where I'm like, ooh, warm, deep, dark, glam, fall I'm here with the vampy lip. This is this eyeshadow palette, and this is the Lorac Pro, the Lorac, oh my gosh, the, oh my gosh, the Lorac Pro palette in the shade, like the Soleil palette, and again, this one's a little bit smaller, the pans are a little bit smaller, but love it. This palette is a little powdery though, so be careful when you're dipping your brushes in there. Um, I think I've used just about all of these shades already. I haven't used all of the shimmers, but the shimmers that I have used are beautiful, and there's and so yeah that's just what these are that's just what these are that's just what this one looks like if you watched my makeup haul you would have seen all the swatches for it but i'll insert swatches again because these shimmers they're so like they're just so pretty and then like the ones that look more glittery i cannot talk the ones that look more glittery they don't fall like all over your face now i use my feet oh my gosh these braces y'all Okay, so they don't fall all over your face where you have glitter all over your face. So I feel like if you're gonna get one fall palette, I'd pick this one or this one, definitely. But the next one is definitely one of my favorites. Definitely still reach for it. And even the names to me are like, oh yeah, that's fall. Because whenever you think of fall, what do you think about? You think about coffee. You think about drinking hot coffee. So. Dominique Cosmetics Latte Palette. Like, look, even the even the pops of color that are in here are perfect for fall. And like I said, like the names in here, Hazelnut, Caramel, Vanilla Cream, Mocha, Pumpkin Spice, Double Shot, Cold Brew, Creme Brulee, Macchiato, Espresso. The names, like I feel like, wow, I'm going to stop spitting at some point. Okay, so like I just feel like perfect. The names, the shades, just everything about it is like fall aesthetic. Why is my palette so dirty? I need to clean it. But yeah, perfect eyeshadow palette. Again, for all the bigger palettes, I will be doing swatches, like swatch inserts. So yeah, I still need to tape this to the back. Okay, so now let's get into some blushes. We will start with cream blushes, kind of going in the order that I do my makeup in. Okay, so my first cream blush recommendation is this one from e.l.f. It's the e.l.f. Putty Blush in Bali. Like this one, like look at that, you guys. Perfect, like warm, muted tone. And one thing I love about the e.l.f. blushes is that they start out with light pigment, but you can build them up. So even if you're very fair, fair skinned and this looks intimidating to you, I promise you, try it out. I will not fail you because... So look, it looks super intimidating, but... It's not, it's really not. You can blend it out, you can build it up and get it to your like, okay, that's an eyeshadow, this is a blush right here. And like, like you can't, like again, I said, it's it's not as intense as it looks. It's buildable, it's beautiful. I highly recommend this blush in Bali. And I only picked out one cream blush because honestly, the only other cream blush I have that's drugstore is, um, I mean, I only picked out one drugstore. Okay, so the next one I did pick out is this Rare Beauty Blush in the shade Love. Now, some people recommended the shade Joy, but I feel like Joy is like that in-between summer and fall. But Love, I feel like, again, is that perfect, like, warm shade. Now, these ones you do have to be careful with because they're super intense. Um, if you ask me, shade-wise, I feel like the Bali one is a shade for love, in a sense, because like you can see they're very, very similar, but this one is super pigmented. It'll last you forever, and like a little bit of this goes a long way. Like You maybe need a dot, maybe half a dot of this on your cheek because, yo, like, 
I don't know. If you're not new here, you would have seen my videos where I first tried these out and your girl was clownish. But, I mean, hey, if you like the, the super pigmented cheeks, that's you. Sorry, no offense. Didn't mean to offend anybody by saying it's clownish. But, yeah, a little bit of this goes a long way. I mean, I was blending forever the first time I used that. But that's the good thing is that they do blend out. Okay, now, a lot of people don't like these. These are the Rare Beauty Melting Blushes. But I love this. Again, the shade is nearly neutral. The shade is so pretty and it is more balmy than most cream blushes that I have but again this one so you kind of have like a peachy shade you have like a brown peach shade and then this one is that perfect um summer summer uh, summer fall oh my gosh this is like that perfect fall mauve shade mauve 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 how do you say it mauve shade so yeah i think that that is super pretty again all of these blend out really light they all look super intimidating in the pan but all of them start out really light and they're all buildable all blendable and so don't be scared of cream blush because even though like 90 percent of them can look intimidating they're not like once you actually use them they're really not intimidating all right so now for the powder blushes okay so if you are someone who likes a little bit of like glow or shimmer or something like that that to your blushes i feel like this one is perfect this is the ulta beauty mineral blush in the shade quenched and i feel like that's a perfect name because it literally does add like the perfect glow so again this one is in the shade quenched and like i said i think you can kind of see the glow but it has like that mauvey orange shade like tone to it like peachy orange tone to it and whenever you blend it out it's like that glow is just golden and pretty and it just looks so pretty and then my next recommendation for a blush is the blush by essence and this is in befitting now this again is like that perfect mauve blush shade it's so freaking pretty right here it kind of matches this one perfectly um so yeah perfect mauve like purpley i want to say purple because i feel like that's too intense but you guys get what i'm trying to say by that shade and then my last recommend, I had a different recommendation, but I realized they no longer sell it, ColourPop. So, but I have this ColourPop in Count Me In Super Shock Cheek, perfect for, um, which is crazy. Because I don't ever know whether to consider these cream or blush, because the way they feel is like, feels like, feels like a powder, feels like a cream. But right there, perfect, just perfect. Like, I have nothing else to say about it. Like, it's just perfect. <laughs> perfect shade for fall. Super cute. Okay, so I have a few eyeliners here. And even though I'm pretty sure that these were part of a limited edition collections, I'm pretty sure um, ColourPop has something very, very similar just because they have a ton of eyeliner shades. So to get those out the way, I have this one in the shade Puppy. This was from their, um, like, Lemon, lemon Something. Um line but like of course like a good orange eyeliner and the outside looks super bright but it's actually a little bit more muted and deep which I feel like is perfect especially if you just want to throw like an orange eyeshadow in the crease so like like I feel like this would have been really pretty with today but I wanted it to lean more pink because I have pink on my shirt um but yeah something like this would be really really pretty for fall if you just want to do like a simple eye look with a pop of color and then i have this one this is from the raw beauty christy uh, collab and this one is in the shade why can't i find it spare time i feel like this green here is perfect again it's just like colors like this that are kind of like they're deep pops of color but they're like cool toned if that makes sense are really perfect for fall to me like i had my nails painted this color recently perfect for fall it's still on my toes but perfect for fall and then i feel like you could never go wrong with the brown eyeliner in the fall brown eyeliners are my favorite especially for like my eyes because my eyes kind of have like a hazel center I don't, I don't know my eyes are weird but like a brown eyeliner again like you cannot go wrong with now one thing i feel like most people won't like just because they'd rather just like smudge an eyeshadow but a brown liquid liner like brown perfect like just perfect i feel like a brown liquid liner is really good for the fall as well i don't know because i feel like it's it it's it's just enough you know what i mean 
and like it's just rounds like I said the deep you are little really, okay like perfect for fall okay back into the lip products now these lip liners are not there's only one that I'm like you got to get this brand this specific color and that is the LA girl keep it spicy lip liner y'all this is like my favorite lip liner of all time this is my third one that I'm on and just look at that color right there <sighs> perfect I feel like it's perfect because it's nude it's like a brown nude but it's not too deep it's like perfect and so then this one again is like this one is not the brand but I feel like you ha like like it is essential to have a brown lip liner for the fall brown and y'all know I was loving this thing could not stop myself from using this thing edible for a while but a brown lip liner for fall you need it you just need brown lips in the fall but then again you also need a vampy purpley wine colored lip so for that one oh and this one is just the shade brown from NYX and then this one is the shade Auburn and you just need everybody needs a lip liner this shade for them vampy lips mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. all of these show up dark a little bit darker on the lips that's why you're probably like girl that don't even look vampy but it shows up a little bit darker on the lips probably more like that and you just need that shade okay and now we're gonna talk about actual lipstick so I have one um, this isn't really transfer proof but I have like you know three lips okay so here I have this Revlon lipstick in a mink y'all look at this color with one of these lip liners that color is perfect now this one is like a satin finish it's not matte it's not super glossy it's more of a satin finish but i feel like that shade is like the perfect fall brownie nude shade perfect and then this next one is one of those like deep brown lips that i was telling you about and this one is love you s'more it's the wet and wild cloud pout and this one just whoo like i said you need a good brown lip for the fall. You need it. Go get this one. It's super affordable. Go get it. So affordable. Now this one dries down kind of like this one. Kind of satin more than matte or super glossy. And then I have this one, which is the ColourPop, ColourPop Ultra Blotted Lip. And this one is in the shade Cypress. Y'all, every time I wear this lip, in person or whether it be in a video somebody asks I love that lip color what is it and it is this color pop ultra blotted oh, oh my gosh ultra bro ultra blotted lip in Cypress perfect boom and that is it you guys those are things that I really really love in the fall things that I gravitate towards things that I love to use just in the fall and things that I've been using so much recently. The only one I haven't really used is this one, but I'm waiting for the day. I'm gonna do like a whole outfit makeup post because I have the perfect outfit and the perfect makeup look for this lip. So yeah, I love you guys, but always remember that Jesus loves you more. Let me know what your fall recommendations are. Do I need to buy them? I'll probably buy them even if I don't need them. So let me know down in the comment box below. Um, if you haven't already, please go ahead and give me a thumbs up. Also, hit that subscribe button, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys. Mwah. <laughs>